A question I often get when converting hex numbers to binary is, Jamie, do I really need to include the leading zeros in every digit? I mean, yeah, I know that that each digit represents four bits, but if I have leading zeros, do I really need to add them? Are they significant? And, and uh, the teacher in me go, go, turns on and says, well, let's look here. and Let's say we had the hex numbers C and 3, and to convert that to binary, well, a C is 1, 0, actually, it's... Sorry, not one zero. It's one one zero zero, and the three is zero zero one one. And so, see, see with this three here, how we had to do these leading zeros. They don't buy us any value in this digit here. Do we really need to add them? I mean, yeah, we need these two leading. These aren't leading zeros. These are zeros after these digits. And we've already learned that that the further left we go, the higher the number. And that's important, especially to my bank account. Um, but here are the leading zeros. Do I really need to add the leading zeros? Well, well, what do you think? Let me um, let me move the C and the three up a little bit. No, let's give us some room to work here and think about what what, what are these leading zeros actually by us? Well, if I take them out, then this digit here is two to the zero, which is one. This is two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. It's just like so, and so 32 plus 16 is 48, 49, 50, 51. So our uh, binary to decimal conversion here is 51. Now, now what happens if I add the leading zeros back in? Let's just write this number again: 1, 1, 0, 0, and then 0, 0, 1, 1, and let's put the powers of 2 back up there and. Uh, one, two, but now we got this zero here, which is going to take the place of this four here. So, four, eight, sixteen. Can you already see what's going to happen now? Thirty-two, sixty-four. Ooh, that's a pretty big number there. And then one twenty-eight. Well, hopefully you can tell what's going to happen here. Uh, one twenty-eight plus sixty-four. Here, I'll just do it down here for my sanity and for yours, but. 4 plus 8 is 12, and 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 192, but then we got 193, 194, 195, well that's equal to 195, alright? Well 51 here is not equal to 195, and so yes, yes, these two digits are significant because they are left in pushing these digits further they, they are on the right side, and they're pushing these digits further to the left. So yes, that is critical. That is important. Every digit must need leading zeros. Now the last digit, say we had a, I don't know, a hex. So we had C3, but then say we had 2. Okay, well, well, yeah, we got a 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0 here, and then we could go further here. This would be 64. Or, or I mean, we'd, we'd have to double 256 and, and 512. But... These leading zeros here, yeah, they don't buy anything because there's no further hex digits out here. So, yeah, you technically could erase them, but we don't uh, because we're dealing with computers here. And remember, it's a lot like the odometer on my scooter. Even if I'm not taking up the leading zeros, I still have the zeros there. And let me just bring up Windows Calculator again just to prove this. 64-bit uh, machine, but it could be 32-bit machine. It could be a 2-bit machine. It doesn't really matter. But yes, we represent all the values here, even though we're not taking it. Look at how many leading zeros here we have for zero. It's There's 64 zeros. Anyway, but if I pump in numbers here, it looks like I'm pumping in decimal numbers. But you can see we are adding bits as I add some numbers, but we still have several leading zeros there. And yes, we generally only just... We do draw them, and we draw them in groups of four, because we can digest groups of four, and four bits makes a nibble, which is half of a byte, and so I, I can then say, well, to get a byte, I need two of these nibbles, and then each nibble is represented by one hex value. So how many bytes can I represent with three hex values? Well, these two make one byte, and then this is half a byte, so this is 1.5 bytes. But anyway, yes, yes, always do the leading zeros, especially if the digit if the binary conversion like in this case is left of another hex value very critical to have the leading zeros but even here out at the end let's repent and put our leading zeros in so we have our full group of four bits